What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Sports Lovers, where we talk all things sports. I am your host, Greg Sullivan, and in today's video, we are going to be giving every NFL team their draft grade. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention that I have not set back up the tripod that I tried taking apart this weekend, but I'm going to get that sometime soon, very, very soon. I just have to get this video out for you guys on Monday. And Wednesday's probably Wednesday's probably gonna be another picks video as well. So on Friday, you guys will get that franchise video. But first, if you are new to the channel, be sure to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest information. Again, it's game day for the Warriors. Game number seven of the Western Conference or first round against the Kings. We gotta come out hot. But so I will be giving you guys my reaction to this probably on Wednesday because of this being a pre-recorded video. But Without further ado, let's hop into my NFL draft grades for every NFL team. Who's the number one, or the Bengals get the number one choice. I'm going to give them a B. I think they got what they really needed. They got them a wide receiver, I think. They got them some help on the defensive end as well. So they got what they needed. I give the Bengals a B. Moving on, though, to the Broncos. I'm going to give them a B as well. I think they definitely got what they needed as well with Sean Payton as their new head coach. They got him some wide receivers and some help on the offensive line. That is what they need, needed is that help on the offensive line. Moving on, though, you got the Browns. And I really don't know what the Browns did, so I'm going to just give them a C and move right along past that one. Moving on, though, you got the Panthers, my Carolina Panthers. I We, we got an A because of that draft pick with Bryce Young. I think that was very, very great. The good, the best thing to do was probably draft Bryce Young, in my opinion. So I'm going to give the Panthers an A for that. We also got Jonathan Mingo and DJ Johnson, who is a really good defensive end for Oregon. He will help us on the defensive line as well, or on the offensive line, I think. No, on the defensive line. He will help us on the defensive line. And then we got Jonathan Mingo as a wide receiver to get Bryce some more help with Terrence Marshall Jr. and that wide receiver core as well. That's why I'm giving the Car the Panthers a A. Moving on, you got the Cardinals. I'm going to give them an A just for drafting on them a quarterback. Hopefully, this quarterback that they drafted will do better than Kyler Murray in Arizona. Moving on, you got the Chiefs. The Chiefs get an A because they got a wide receiver. They got some help on the offensive line, which is pretty much the only really thing that they needed is some help on the offensive line. I'm going to give the Chiefs an A just for that reason as well. But moving on, you got the Cowboys. I'm going to give them a B. They didn't really need anything, but they did get a couple things that they needed. They could have used another pick with that help on the offensive line the, that they picked the wide receiver for. But other than that, I'd give them a B. Moving on, you got the Eagles. And the Eagles are turning into Georgia, man. They drafted like five different Georgia players for whatever reason. But I'm going to give the Eagles an A. They got what they needed. They got some help on the offensive line. They got themselves a running back as well. So I'm going to give the Eagles an A. And also they signed DeAndre Swift. Moving on, you got the Falcons. I'm going to give the Falcons a C, actually. I think the Falcons did partially what they needed to do. They did not get them a quarterback, though. I believe they, that they have all faith in Desmond Ritter, though. That's probably why I'm going to give up the C right there. But I just think that the Falcons deserve a C. Moving on, though, you got the New York Giants. I'm going to give the Giants a B just because, again, I really don't know who they picked and what they picked up, but I'm giving the Giants a B. Moving on, you got the Jags. I'm giving the Jags an A for drafting Tank Bigsby. That's my reasoning for that. If you guys would have liked to hate on it, you can do that in the comments below. But they drafted Tank Bigsby, War Damn Eagle. I am giving the Jaguars an A just for that reason right there. Moving on, you got the Bucks. I'm going to give the Bucks a B. They drafted a quarterback to compete with uh, Kyle Trask and Baker Mayfield. That is why I'm going to give the Bucks a B right there. Moving on, you got the Jets. I'm giving the Jets an A. They they gave Rod they got Rodgers some help on the wide receiver core and tied in. That's why I'm giving the Jets an A right there. Moving on, then you got the Lions. I'm going to give the Lions a C. Again, I really don't think they needed to draft Jameer Gibbs out of Alabama. Again, I also don't think they needed to draft um, Deion or trade away DeAndre Swift. I don't think they really need to do that as well. But they did it. That is why I'm giving them a C. Moving on, you got the Bills. I'm going to give the Bills a B just because they drafted 
the Bills, did, they did draft what they needed with the wide receiver. They really didn't need anything else. Maybe another wide receiver. Moving on, though, you got the Packers. I'm going to give the Packers an A. They got Jordan Love a couple tight ends to help. They got him a couple wide receivers. They got him some help as well. That's why I'm giving the Packers, in my summary, a, an A for their draft grade. Moving on, you got the Bears. And the Bears traded down and then traded or the Eagles down as well. I'm going to give the Bears an A. They really didn't need the second over or the number one overall pick. That's why I'm giving the Bears an A right there. I'm just going to go ahead and give the Bears an A. Moving on, though, you got the Patriots. I'm going to give the Patriots a C. And next, you got the Chargers. I'm going to give the Chargers a B, actually. I think they drafted a wide receiver, if I'm not mistaken. And they also drafted a quarterback to compete with Justin Herbert. Maybe if they fire their coach, they'll do better. But moving on, though, the Colts, they... Sorry, I'm struggling here. They got an A because they drafted your boy, Anthony Richardson. That's who I wanted the Panthers to take really, really badly. But the Colts, they deserve an A for drafting Anthony Richardson and not Will Levis like they, like everybody thought they were. I'm giving the Colts an A for their draft as well. Moving on, you got the Raiders. I'm going to give the Raiders a B. Again, don't really know who they picked. Moving on, I'm going to give the, Ra the Rams an F only because they drafted Stetson Bennett. That's my only reasoning there. Moving on, you got the Ravens. I'm going to give the Ravens a B in their draft because... They, they got Lamar Jackson some help on the wide receiver court along with ODBJ. And they signed him to a deal before the draft to lock him up for long term. I'm going to give the Ravens an A right there. Or a B actually right there. Moving on, you got the Saints. And the Saints, I'm going to give the Saints an A. I thought they drafted that de defensive end really, really nicely. That was a nice pick for them. Somebody to go alongside Cam Jordan. Cam Jordan Cam can't do all the work for you. And they also got them a running back to go along with Alvin Kamara in their running back room. I think they drafted what they needed, though, so they're getting an A. Moving on, you got the Seahawks. I'm giving the Seahawks an A as well, only for drafting Derek Hall. That's my reasoning. Again, if you want to hate on it, hate on it in the comments down below, but don't come at me because I just think that Derek Hall is a stud and whoever picked him up was going to be in shape, and I think the Seahawks are just that. Moving on, you got the Steelers. I'm giving the Steelers an A because they drafted that Joey Porter Jr. kid. That kid is a stud. Go watch film on him. On him, If you haven't, go watch film on him as well. But it, it, he's a stud, and that was probably their best pick in the draft, in my opinion. Moving on, you got the Texans. I'm giving the Texans a B, actually. I put them in the A, but I'm going to give them a B because... I they they got what they needed in CJ Stroud. They also got Will Anderson Jr. And then they also got a wide receiver or two. That's why I'm giving them a B right there. Moving on, you got the Titans. I'm giving the Titans an F just for drafting Will Levis. That's my reasoning for that. Again, hate on it in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts about them drafting Will Levis in the comments down below as well. Moving on, you got the Dolphins. I'm going to give them a C. I think they drafted, did really, really good. But overall, I think they drafted a C grade. Moving on, you got the Vikings. And I'm going to give them a D because I, I didn't really pay attention to who they drafted. And it looks like they didn't draft a lot of good players. So I'm going to give the Vikings a D right there. Moving on, though, you got the 49ers. I'm going to give the 49ers a C. They Again, they really didn't need anything to help with them on the offensive line, but or to help with them in the skill position, but I'm going to give them a C anyway. And moving on, you got the Commanders. I'm going to give up a B for their draft as well, but that I, again, don't really know about any of these teams' draft for the most part, but I'm giving them a B as well. But anyway, that is going to be all for today's video. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And let me know what you think of my draft grades in the comments down below as well.